Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I would be demonstrating step-by-step -step installation of Lubuntu lightweight and fast operating system based on Linux. Basically, if we talk of Lubuntu operating system, it is regarded as a lightweight Linux distribution which is based on Ubuntu, but it is using LXDE desktop environment instead of Ubuntu's Unity shell and Genome desktop. But it is regarded as the most lighter, less resource hungry and more efficient and energy efficient operating system. Like Uxbuntu, Lubuntu is also intended to work on the low system requirements and you can find that if you are using a very low power system about 256 MB RAM or 512 MB RAM, you can work on this Linux in a very easy and in a very powerful manner. And the name Lubuntu is basically known as a combination of LXDE and Ubuntu. LXDE stands for Lightweight X11 Desktop Environment. If we talk of Lubuntu, it is basically developed by Lubuntu Community and LXDE Foundation. And the operating system is based on Unix. And it is currently under the active development and it is still open source. And if you talk of the latest release, it is having uh, the version that is 15.10 and kernel as we know, it's same like all other Linux like monolithic kernel. So how to grab it, how to download it, what is the official website, let us go and give it a shot. So now you can see I have already opened google.com on my laptop. If I type that is Lubuntu, now you can find that there is lots and lots of links which is being given. So let us go to the official website that is called lubunto.net that is lightweight, fast and easier. So now you can see that it is against a fast and lightweight operating system and it was founded by Mario Belling and is currently mainly developed by Julian Leverage. So these two people are basically being involved in order to give this a boost. And you can find more information of Lubuntu Linux on Wikipedia, on everything. You can find its blog, its Wikipedia, its forum and even it is having documentation. So if you want to download, you can just click over here. That is download Lubuntu Intel x86 desktop CD or you can download that is Lubuntu 64 bit AMD 64 if you are having an AMD machine. So the latest version is 15.10. So I have already downloaded it on my desktop. You can right click over here and click on properties. It is about 747 MB of operating system. So not very heavy and it is very light. So let us uh, open our VMware Workstation Pro 12 and we will be installing Lubuntu on our VMware Workstation. You can even in install it on VirtualBox but it is very easy to install on VMware. So I will be installing Lubuntu on VMware Workstation. So let us double click VMware Workstation Pro. So this is the opening screen. So let us uh, go and go to home and click on create a new virtual machine. So now let us take this option as typical itself. Click next. So let us browse this and go to desktop. Now you can find Lubuntu. Just click it and click on open. So now it can see that it cannot detect any operating system. So no need to worry. Click next. So you can just take it Linux and you can take kernel as 2.6.x as 64 bit or you can take it as Ubuntu. There is no need to worry. So click next. So I give the virtual machine as the name as Lubuntu Linux and I just take this as my E drive because as you know that I install my machines on E drive so it is better to install on E or any location which you want. So click next. So I just give it 12 GB. You can give A, 20, 25, whatever it is. So 12 GB is enough for me. So click next. So now I have to customize the hardware and I change the RAM from 384 to 1024. I will give it 1 GB RAM, so it is very convenient for me. You can even give it a 512 MB RAM or 6, 7, 6, uh, 768 MB RAM, so you can give it on your choice. So no need to worry, it is very light and fast. So click close and click finish. Now you can see that the machine has been created, so let us power on this machine. So let us click on view and full screen. So now you can see that it has uh, given us the opening menu in which it has uh, made us to choose the language. So we can change the, so we can ch ch uh, choose the default language that is English. So click press enter. 
So now you can see that it is giving the option that is try Lubuntu without installing. Install Lubuntu, check disk for defects, test memory and boot from the first hard disk. So you can find that this uh, D, uh, CD ha is giving you two experiences. You can even install Lubuntu, you can even uh, try the Lubuntu, it can even act as a live CD. So I just have to install the Lubuntu, so I go to the second option, so that is install Lubuntu and press enter. So you can say that almost I have made you install more than 10 to 15 flavors of Linux. So like any other flavor because it is based on Ubuntu. So 90% of the installation is based on Ubuntu. You can see that it is having the same interface as we have on Ubuntu operating system. So it is very lightweight. It will not take much time. It will, it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to install. So very good Linux you can say. So now you can see that it is giving us the opening screen. So no lag I can find on mouse, on 1 GB of RAM you can find. So now you can see that it has given us the welcome screen that in which it has given us the English language and you can click on this release note for documentation so no need to open so click on continue. So you can find for the best results uh, my machine is having, uh, I, as you know that I have allocated 12 GB of RAM so it is demanding 4.4 GB of hard disk space so it you can even give it 8 GB but 12 GB is enough and it is also connected to the internet so I just uh, not check these two options because why because I just want the installation to be done from the CD and rest you can install after the installation of Lubuntu. So let us uh, click on continue. So now you can find the same options as we have in uh, other operating systems. So erase disk and install Lubuntu, encrypt the new Lubuntu installation, use LVM or something else. You can partition it manually, but I prefer to go with erase disk and install Lubuntu in which operating system will efficiently decide how much to partition and which partition to which partition. So click on install now. So it, it is giving us that it has partitioned the space to two partitions that is one partition for ext4 and second partition is for the swap space. So swap is very important and the next is uh, given for the file system because Lumanto is basically you can say Linux is a file based operating system so it will require mostly on the operating system and next part on the swap operating swap partition so click on continue. So let us wait till it gives us the next screen. So now we have to ch uh, check the time zone or you can say the place where we live. So I am living in India. So it has detected Kolkata. So no need to change. So click on continue. So now it is giving us the keyboard type. So English US and English US it is okay. So let me drag over here. So click continue. So now it is demanding us to give us your name and computer name. So I give my name. And I pick the username as Anand and uh, I type the password. So click continue. So now you can see that it has taken all the preliminary steps and it is installing the files. So we will not, uh, you can say, pause the video and it will not take much time and it will be installing. So just five minutes to six minutes it will take to install. So you can even see over here that Lubuntu is designed to be lightweight, easy and fast and almost based on Ubuntu operating system. So let's wait some time more for making it finish to complete the files. Yes, so you can see on this screen that Lubuntu is based on LXD desktop. You can see that lightweight X11 desktop environment and you can see Ubuntu plus LX11 desktop environment is equal to Lubuntu. So instead of having Genome, we will having X11 desktop environment. Rest almost Ubuntu. So now it is installing the system. So system locals are configured and uh, we can just skip these uh, library files. So it is configuring the keyboard and creating the user. 
and same you can find chromium flash firefox browser so if you want to install the library files you can install it over there so no need to uh, you can say go for the language files you can skip over there so if you are having a old pc lying at your home uh getting some dust you can find to have some use of that pc so this is the most efficient choice for you to make your old pc a new one and have live experience of linux do some connectivity do some uh, configurations have another operating system have a, another type of operating system at your home instead of linux and uh, in, uh, you can say instead of windows so almost whatever it is available on windows it is available on linux also tons of software applications everything is available so ab word you can find the libreoffice so it is almost on the grub part and very soon we can find that the installation has completed and uh, we will be booting up the linux it is removing some temporary files i think so so you can see that the installation is complete you need to restart the system in order to use the new installation so let us click on restart now so in a matter of seconds we will be greeted with a new operating system lubuntu and let's have some hands on experience with this operating system what is it all about So now you can see that it has started working. So the kernel shell is about 2.26.2, so it's the latest kernel. Yes, you can find that uh, versions come and go, but uh, no need to worry about the versions. The, the experience will remain the same. Somewhat change. So now you can greet it with the desktop so i just type my password and i click login so let us first of all change the resolution so that you can have good experience yes so click close oh my god so it is having some you can say monitor settings i can just change the resolution to Minus one three six zero to seven sixty eight. So click on apply, and click OK. I click save. I click OK. So now you can see that it is having almost like the Windows same like that. So over here we have the networking option. So I just click over here. You can find that almost Windows type experience. So same accessories, graphics, internet. We can find Firefox, Bitgen, Cycle Speed, Transmission, Office is there, AB Word, PDF document for document viewer, and GNU. numeric and other for that we have the terminals for sound and video we have the audacious we can have genome m player gcn view for capturing of the webcam and xf burn for burning the cds here we have the system tools for installing network terminal synaptic package manager we can click over here so you can find that uh, almost all the packages which we can find on uh, Ubuntu it is already there so you can install it and under preferences we can have like a control panel over here so again software and updates it will be checking so you can find that almost uh, whole of the experience 90% of experience is like windows and very good experience has been done so you can find there is no lag i can drag and drop each and everything so you can say do give it a shot so let me open the terminal for you yes so terminal is there so let us type the ip address that is if config so you can find that it has again provided the ip that is 
117.190 so let us ping Google so it is pinging so you can find a very good interface let's open Google in that with a Firefox browser so let us close this in Aptek Manager so very good experience I can say a very smooth experience very it is lightweight operating system I can even say that uh, I have uh, installed many versions of operating system of Linux very almost every flavor of Linux I can say that this is regarded as the most smooth Linux I have uh, I've ever installed so very good so you can find it's having a task manager so almost like a Windows good very very good experience so in this video I have uh, made you shown that how to install uh, Lubuntu Linux, how to grab this Lubuntu Linux. So I recommend you to please give it a shot and do like this video. Thank you.